what's up guys welcome back to the channel so as you can tell today we got a real treat this is one of these cowboy steaks i'm about to put it on the grill on the traeger so we got some i'm just gonna get it rubbed real good with some virgin oil olive virgin oil and then some salt and pepper and rub this bad boy down as you can tell see i just got the steak loaded on there Put in all kinds of uh, extra virgin, extra virgin olive oil, and drizzled it also on the as asparagus. Put a good amount of salt and pepper on them. Put them in the Traeger. So I'm just gonna let these bad boys sit for uh, maybe like 10 minutes on each side. What's up, everyone! Welcome back to the channel. So, yeah, as you can tell, we got some. Good, good. We got a little cowboy steak here. And um, in the beginning, you saw how I kind of seasoned it and got it all ready to, to cook, threw it in the Traeger. Uh, here we go. So, yeah, I like my meat medium rare. So I put it about maybe 15, maybe a little less than that, 10, 12 minutes on each side. So, yeah, this is, I'm excited here. Let me hold this up. Let me go ahead and do a, a thumbnail here real quick. Look at that. <laughs> Woo, it smells good. I wish you guys could smell this. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to turn it around. It's got the little grill marks on each side. Look at that. Woo, juicy. Dripping all over the place here. Um, yeah, the way I went in, I, I cooked this is... I actually rubbed it in some um, extra virgin olive oil. Let me clean this so it doesn't drip down to my table. Some extra virgin olive oil, rubbed it down and just seasoned it with salt and pepper. Got the asparag asparagus with the same um, and the baked potato. Let's go ahead and cut this up, put some butter and salt and everything in there. I wish I had some sour cream and, and cheese for this potato, but I don't. Let's see here. Some butter on that one. Some butter on that one. Wow, look at this, guys. Mmm, smells great. I'm going to just get into it here. I can't wait. I get I get excited around around food like that. I get excited. Mm. I'm excited to see how it got cooked in here in the middle. Let me cut it. Oh wow! Look at that. Look at that. That's how a steak should be. Not well done. This and that. Mm-mm. Mm. Juicy. Mm. I'm telling you, if you guys never had your steak cooked medium, medium rare, you're missing out. It's the juiciest, juiciest steak you ever get. Mmm. Yes, I'm eating these with my hands. And that's okay. Mmm. What a treat. Wow. You guys see that? Mmm. 
This was um when I bought it, it said it was 2.7 pounds. So that's a big steak. Mmm. Man, it is delicious. Delicious. I think with a, with a good cut of meat like this, you don't really have to season it too much. Potatoes nice and hot. Mmm, 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 mmm. Wow. Wow. Mm. There's always that little tough part at the end of the asparagus on some of these. Mmm. Mmm. Oop. Which one of you guys wanted then? Both those two asparagus just jumped right off my plate. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, some of those ends are just too tough. Too tough for me. Let me get these juices. get these juices cleaned up before they get all over the floor yeah this is perfect perfect look at that that thing just fell right off did you guys see that hmm Do you guys eat the potato skin on your potatoes? I always have as a kid. On a Monday, a cowboy steak doesn't get any better. Mm. Some of these smaller ones got cooked just a little, a little bit too long, but that's okay. Hmm. 
Mm. Nothing like a good meal to get you excited like a little kid, right? A little butter. A little extra butter on that one. This end obviously cooked a little wet, a little better. It's not as in the center. Mm. I'm not talking much on this video because I'm enjoying this too much. So not a talkative one today. <laughs> I know you guys can relate. Mm. I was going to give this bone to my dog, but my dog's only 17 pounds. There's a little dude. This bone's bigger than him. <laughs> I like this, this end cap. Mmm. Look at that. That's cooked a little better. For those of you who like that, I would say that's maybe maybe medium. Medium on the outside, medium around the inside. Look at that bad boy. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Trying to stay on top of these these juices so they don't get on the floor. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. Speechless. Wow, this meal mate left me speechless. <clears throat> Speaking of speechless, if you guys haven't seen my video, I went uh, for the first time, my, my video I just uploaded yesterday, first time trying, um, gosh, I can't even think about it, Molina Bay Filipino food.
guys, that place was, that place was fire. I'm already thinking of what I want to try next time I go. What's going to be the next? So yummy. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. Wow, this steak just melts in your mouth. The buttery fat part melts in your mouth. Get all those juices right there. Trying to escape. Mmm. 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 My goodness. Mm. I don't mess with the fat part, the too, too much fat like that. Now the little baby fat like this. Mmm. Wow, wonderful guys, wonderful. What a treat. I've been waiting to cook this bad boy for a while. I bought it um I wanna say like two, three weeks ago. And it was sitting in my freezer and I'm like, man, I better get to it. What also helped is my wife, she just made some tamales. This weekend, some green ones and red, red ones. So we had to make some room in the freezer. <laughs> so I'm like, man, why not? Let's take this bad boy out. But man, I put it on, like I told you, um, 400 on the Traeger. Rubbed it real good, real down with, uh, good down with um, extra virgin olive oil. Just salt and pepper. That's it. Plain, simple, easy. I would have put some rosemary on there if I had it, but I didn't have it. And uh, about 12 minutes on one side, 12 minutes on the other side. Had the asparagus in there, some baked potato, threw those bad boys in the microwave for like uh, eight minutes. You don't have to spend too much time there, but wow, what a treat. This hit the spot. This is, I'm going to be ready for a nap here soon. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Um, I'm going to go ahead and save this for later. It's like a munch on it later. Or when my kids get home, they'll finish it for me like some piranhas, those who have Adult kids or teenagers know what I'm talking about. But yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you next time. Peace.